she turned her tragedy with men into a superpower of not being scared of them and getting exactly. great good done. Yeah. But did. how did you think that affects you having your mom hate men and you being a man? Um, well, I know one thing for sure. <laughs> it, it made me insecure around women. I mean, that, that's like a no-brainer. It was like there was no pathway inside me that could step to a woman and feel safe. The way she would make me feel is you have no right to even be doing this. Where do you stand personally on romantic relationships? You mean am I in one, you mean? Yeah, are you in one? No, I'm not in one. Um, Did you ever override that wall that was built by your mom and get close in the way you were scared to with a woman? Um, I would say, yeah, once. But I, for various reasons, I, I can't get into the specifics of it. Was this, I think my big fear with uh, romantic relationships, what I'm learning is, is like the only way for them to succeed is for you to be completely vulnerable. Yeah. And humans are so fucked up and we just talk ourselves out of happiness so often that maybe it's worth trying to push you to at least think about it. Well, you've definitely succeeded in that. I can't tell you how, in the last, let's say, three minutes, how many jokes I've had to repress. I get it. I yeah. have the same disease, which is avoid emotion by making jokes. Yeah. Do you ever get in that zone, like the pity party zone? Yeah, I, I get in it all the time. But I'm very fast at getting out of it. And each card has a little bit of a different approach to basically the same goal, which is schmuck, take action no matter how frightened you are, no matter how frightened you are, no matter how frightened you are.